Well, this is great. A group of local students you recently got to travel to Washington, D.C., to the Smithsonian's uh, a Museum of the History of African Americans. And this museum is so spectacular, and it was all thanks to the Minnesota Vikings and a wonderful organization. Here to talk about all of it, we have three guests. Let's take a little shot of them. Please welcome from the uh, Project Success, the founder, Adrian. We have Tiana, and of course, Viking Safety, Anthony Harris, everybody. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. For people that I love your program, for people that aren't aware of it, uh, give us a little bullet point. Tell us about Project yeah. Su Success. Well, this year, Project Success turned 25 years old, and Project Success, I know. Yeah. It's incredible. It started as a dream of, of mine, and Project Success is where students connect to their purpose. And we believe that when they do that, our incredible students um, get to thrive and create the future that they want. And, and uh, we've been doing this 25 years. This year, we'll work. Can you believe it? It's been 25? No, yeah. No. And especially because I was 24 and had a dream and, and an idea of what if every young person could dream about who they were. Uh, learn about what's out there in the world and create the future they wanted and take the steps necessary to have the life they were meant to have. And people were like, are you crazy? Yeah. And, uh, well, I love that you were 24 and you had this dream. I was 24 playing video games eating chicken fingers. So, I mean, <laughs> you, that was, you, that's why you're well, who, who you are. It was a gift and an inspiration. And today, 25 years later, we, next year, we'll be working in 23 Minneapolis public schools, middle that's and high schools. 15,000 students, and not just doing workshops and theater experiences like Hamilton, but doing things like going to D.C. and partnering with people like the incredible Minnesota Vikings to bring students to D.C. to see Howard, to see the African American Museum of History and Culture. And Tiana, let me talk to you as one of the students. What is it like being part of this program? I mean, this is pretty spectacular. It's really cool. Like, it's such a cool experience because, like, when I first started high school, I was kind of scared. And then, like, that first month, because they visit us every month, it was just like, wow, these people are actually here to help us. Like, we don't just got the teachers. We got outside sources to help us. And they don't just help us during school either. We can visit them during the summer and do classes with them as well to still help us out. And sometimes the summer is when you kind of need it the most. People think, oh, it's only the... Mm -hmm. No, the summer is when you, you, you exactly. need that help as well. What was the trip I watched? The, they did the Vikings, by the way, who did a beautiful job the, the editing with it. Uh, what was the trip to the museum like? It was so much fun. Like I've been to a lot of African American history museums, but like that museum just blew me away. It was just like a lot of museums just cover slavery, but they covered it all, and then they even went to the present with it, with current day artists and like inspirational things. And it's just like really eye awakening. And don't you love how it's set up where the, the beginning is, is, is in the basement, it's very, mm -hmm. and then as, as history grows and the people grow, it's, it's, it comes into the light. I love this, it the structure is. itself. I'm sure you get approached to do a lot of things. Everyone wants a Viking, every way. Hey, come to this, come to my rodeo, come to this, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, Anthony, have you ever been to a rodeo? I just made that up, but what made you, what made you want to do Project S Success? Yeah, um, I think it's all about giving back um, and all about the experience. Um, I try to get involved with a lot of things I have passion for, and the one thing is working with youth. Um, so to be able to pair it with Project Success, um, go on the trips with the children, and create that experience, um, and, and, and it's surrounded by education, um, which I think is very important. Um, not just in the classroom, you know, reading books, um, but going out and experience things allows the kids to be more attached and it'd be more meaningful and for them to, you know, have a more learning and impactful experience. So for and me, it's important. I'm sure you get, obviously, joy from your, from your sport, from being an athlete, uh, from the fans. But I would imagine, the research I've done on you, this is more than lip service to you, that this is using your platform, because it's an incredible platform when you're a Minnesota Viking. To use that to do good, it has to be one of the pillars of your life. Yeah, um, I have a niece and nephew. Um, in today's society, a lot of things is about social media. Um, and for that platform, it can be very powerful. Um, it's not always used in a positive light. So I try to utilize my platform to you know, always act in a positive manner, set a good example for them, but then set a good example for the people watching. Um, and that could be you know, total strangers to people who've known me my whole life. So I think it's important to utilize it in a positive way. Because don't you find it? Yeah, absolutely. Because don't you find it? I do in a small way with this show on the right. You never know who's watching you. you and you know. never know whose life could be changed. Like right now, could be watching and go, you know, what's it like to have a gentleman like this on your team, so to speak? 
It's incredible, and it's incredible in the way you were talking earlier about community. And there was a moment, the evening, I don't know if you remember, the evening as we were all getting to know each other, the players and the students, we didn't know each other. We're from all different schools, and we came together as a community, and no one had been to the museum, and we experienced it together. It's incredible. Yeah, if you guys haven't gone, go. And if you haven't, research project success, research it. If you haven't bought his jersey, buy his jersey. Yeah. Adrian, Tiana, Anthony, thank you guys so much. Give it up, everybody. When we come back